Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, and other countries in different parts of Africa are on lockdown due to coronavirus. Globally, the health sector has been recognized as the hardest hit during this pandemic. But one other sector largely affected is education. The situation makes it absolutely impossible for schools dependent on conventional methods of learning to function. Students whose schools are situated in states affected by the lockdown have their education set on pause. When this social distancing thing started with the lockdown, you know, the kids have not been able to get quality education, like schooling stopped. I understand that, of course, this COVID-19 thing is more important, but schooling is also important. They can't just be wasting their time at home. You know, yeah, people will say, eh, they are your children, bring, them, eh, bring out their booze, give them exercises, give them more work. I am not a teacher, please. However, the case is different for students in developed climes. Learning has not stopped as lectures and teaching are ongoing using digital tools. Somewhere in Japan, graduation was done via Skype. There is no so much changes made to the academic calendar. The only change is that classes have now been moved online. And um, pressure, assignment pressure, because now for most people, they have to change their assignment topic or project topic because of access to people. We have this app called Folder where our teachers send in our work to do. I do my guided reading. Um, I do some math with using natural mathematics. Um, I do some coding. Some schools in Africa have implemented the e-learning option or worst case scenario, have the tools ready for when they have to fall back to this option. But how do we rate the level of penetration of this aspect of information technology in Africa? In the past few years, African countries have witnessed a monumental level of growth in the use and adoption of e-learning solution in the educational sector. Companies such as IBM, Google, Microsoft, have also gone ahead to partner with some countries in Africa, countries like uh, Kenya, South Africa, who have adopted and adapted e-learning into the system. If there is one thing COVID-19 has done well, it is to remind us of the loopholes in our systems. What are the challenges of implementing online learning in Nigeria? Infrastructure, access and infrastructure. Um, you don't, we don't really have stable infrastructure for the delivery of learning um, through digital tools and um, through online technology, mainly because you don't have stable internet access. Stable internet access is the biggest issue that we have in delivery. Um, many students who have to watch videos, read text, do not have stable enough internet to be able to, you know, to do that. So that, that becomes an impediment. Um, on the other hand, the infrastructure get, goes down to digital tools like having smartphones that you can use to, to interact with multi-media content. There's also an issue of limited ICT education for educators. Not every educator in Nigeria is aware of the endless resources they can have access to virtually. Teaching online requires a specific type of, of knowledge. Um, specific, specific types of skill and we don't really have a lot of programs designed for Nigerian teachers at the moment uh, that's getting them ready to teach online. Great, you can teach in a classroom but if you're not trained specifically to teach online, you will struggle to teach online. On the other hand, students also need to be taught how to learn online. The major one for me is the discrimination of um, online, online certification. Looking at life after COVID-19, we can collectively agree that we must do better. For education, how do we begin to fix these challenges? Right now, we have seen that we have a lot of work to do. From the very first day that the pandemic is over, we should be ready to start teaching students in the case of another pandemic. And that has to start today. So today, starting from today, do we have programs that we can use to start teaching our students how to learn online? Do we have programs that we can start to teach our teachers how to teach online? On the flip side, what are the different infrastructure 
that needs to be put in place that can enable teaching and learning online in Nigeria today. So post COVID-19 is going to be, we don't know when it's going to end. So it's, for me, it's mainly what we're going to do today so that if, we, if there's a pandemic tomorrow, students are not going to lose six months of learning. They're not going to lose a year of learning. Education is believed to be the bedrock of a country's development. If Africa will develop at a faster pace, then we must begin to work on our education system. Embracing technology appears to be the best way to upgrade the education sector in Nigeria and indeed Africa. Elsie Godwin for Plus TV Africa.